Hey guys, what's up? Gladly here. And today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna take a closer look at the Radiant set within uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, see what it does, how it helps, and uh, what kind of awesome stuff we can do with it. First off, let's buy the set itself in the Gerudo Secret Shop in Gerudo Town. You can get in here by going into an alleyway, knocking at a door, and giving them the code GSC and then a diamond sign to get into the club. Each armor piece costs 800 rupees and 3 luminous stones to buy. Oh. I actually like the look of this armor quite a bit. It looks very different and uh, unique compared to the other armor sets. Now let's go ahead and upgrade it uh, at the Great Fairy to get that sweet set bonus that we want. The set bonus makes it so that we can blend in with all skeleton enemies, at least the smaller ones, and it will also boost the attack of every weapon we use that is either a skeleton weapon or a bone weapon. So upgrading each piece costs uh, 5 luminous stones and 3 becobbling guts to level 1. So let's get that out of the way. The level 2 upgrades are a bit more pricey at 8 luminous stones and uh, 3 mobling guts. But still not too bad. It only took me about 10 minutes to get all the luminous stones required uh, for these upgrades. Which brings the armor level of each piece up to 8 and more importantly activates the set bonus of the radiant set. As you can see here, uh, if you look on the right side, the set bonus is now active. It says Disguise and Bone Attack up, like I said. So let's see if we can uh, get this to work here. Say hello to our little friend. <laughs> he looks kind of curious and uh, skeptical, but he's not attacking, so that's a win. Yes, I am just like you. And he'll follow you around as well. Also, these big uh, moblin skeletons, they will also not attack you and they will follow you around. Unfortunately, they won't do much more than that, so they can't fight for you or anything like that, which I think would be really awesome. But if you kill them, uh, they'll at least give you their arms, lend you a hand, I guess. <laughs> and uh, you can take their arms and use them as weapons, even though they're not that good. But, you know, in a pinch. And remember, these uh, skeleton weapons will get the bonus from the Radiant set. Now let's dream a little bit bigger and see if this guy wants to be our friend. Do you want to be our friend? He looks friendly. And he's actually not attacking. He's just standing there. Is it working? Uh... No. He knows we're human now. And that means he has to pay the price. Oh well. Now let's see exactly what we can do with this set. And the first thing we'll need is a better weapon. I know exactly the kind of weapon I'm uh, looking for and I actually found a spot here in the southwestern part of the map, in the mountains, where you can get a guaranteed uh, bone club that I'm looking for. Right here inside, you'll see a lot of ice keys, actually. So if you need some ice key swings for upgrades or uh, anything, this is also a good place to go. And once they're gone from this world, up on this ledge here is a Dragonbone Moblin Club, which I think is the best bone weapon in the game. And that's gonna hopefully let us do some serious damage. Now we have the armor and the weapon. But there's something missing. Oh yeah. As long as we don't die, now we have a skeletal horse to complete our picture. Unfortunately, this horse will die once the sun comes up and we cannot put it into the stable. Because the population just doesn't understand the beauty of skeletal horses. It's okay. 
Now let's put this set to a real test. This guy doesn't want to be our friend either, so he'll be the test subject for our newfound power. Stun him in the eye and equip my Moblin Club, Bone Club. And that's pretty good, and that's even without any attack boosts. Just one round and he's completely boned. Now let's try again, and this time we're going to use an attack boost food to uh, spike our power even more. So I made some uh, simmered fruit out of uh, bananas and stuff. And we're going to see what this baby can do. So now we're using the Radiant Set attack bonus. We have a great bone weapon and we have a level 3 attack boost. Yeah. That's... <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Poor thing. Didn't even get to wake up properly. Such a knucklehead. But let's science this thing up even more. We're gonna do a series of uh, tests on this uh, poor unsuspecting moblin here and see how much damage we do with and without the armor and with and without the attack buffs. So here I attacked him, swung once and did 45 damage just like the item says. Here I have the full set equipped and I take another swing and as we can see we just did 81 damage. And again, just for fun, now we have a plus 3 attack boost from food, and we just did 121 damage. This means that the Radiant set actually provides an 80% damage bonus to all bone weapons, meaning that the 45 damage club actually acts more like an 81 damage weapon. And the same is true for other bone weapons, like the bone bow, or the dragon bone spear, or the moblin arms, or any other bone weapon you can think of. So in the end, I think this set is pretty cool. It looks uh, very cool. I kind of wish there were more interactions that you could have with skeletons while wearing it. But as I see it, the main benefit of this set is, let's say if you end up with a bunch of dragon bone moblin clubs in your inventory, you can put this on to turn them all into really insane weapons. It makes bone weapons really worth holding onto and able to compete with some of the best weapons in the game. At 81 damage, uh, for a club, that's hard to compete with. That's hard to beat. And that's basically it. I had a lot of fun making this video, trying this set on, seeing what it could do, trying this little experiment with you guys. Uh, let me know if you liked the video. You can click right here to subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys later.